So this is a drill press. It's very similar to the one in uh, woodwork. Okay, there's a few slight differences though, and I'll run you through those. So we ha still have our safety guard here. We can flick that up while we're working on this. All right, this is our hand chuck. Okay, so we can loosen it and take our drill bit out and tighten it by twisting away from each other. Okay, um, one of the major differences here, we should always use a vise whenever we work. All right, I'll run you through that one. Um, we've got an on off up here and an off at the wall, but this time our safety is on the floor. All right, so that way our hands are up here. We can just put our foot on the um, safety until everything's stopped. Then we can take our hands off, fix the issue, okay? And then we can get back into working again. So just like in uh, woodwork, we've got the handle here and we've got the depth stop here as well, okay? Which enables us to set to, let's say we want that depth. We lock that off there and now we can't go any further. So really handy for a lot of things, all right? Not always needed, but really handy. Now, as you can see, this drill piece at the moment is below the height of our our vise, okay, so we need to lower it. That's this handle here. You'll notice nothing's happening. There's another one down here all right, that you need to unlock. Down here, you'll see we've got a collet here with a red handle. Loosening that means that we can adjust the height of that. And all that does is stop this from dropping down too far. All right, we can lock that off. It's not going anywhere. Then we have another handle up here, which enables us to loosen the work plane off and adjust the height and the angle that we're at. All right, like that. Now, when we use that, it'll actually move up and down as required. Okay, so let's say we need it there. We're gonna lock this one off. Like that, okay. Now this vise, it's unattached. So even if something does go wrong, this is still gonna move around and it's gonna get quite dangerous. So we've got a couple of um, clamps here to go with it. All right, we lock that off, hopefully in the position that we're after. So we can put our material in, all right, get it there. We make sure that we're in the right spot. If not, simply loosen this clamp off, bump it forward to where we need it, check it again. Yep, happy with that, we can lock it off on up here, okay? And then just all we're doing, okay? We're not forcing it. It will take a bit more effort than in woodwork, but we're just working our way through, let the um, sharpness of the drill bit determine how fast you can go. All right, these pieces here, all right? This is what comes off of it, or the swarf, okay? It's very sharp and it will get stuck in your uh, fingers. All right, metal splinters are really dangerous and don't know if you've watched any of the other videos, but think of a fish hook, all right? It doesn't go well with your skin. Try and avoid touching it at all times. Once you're finished with all the stuff that's on the, um, on the work uh, bench, simply go get a brush, brush it down onto the floor, and we'll sort that out later. Always have the vise down when we're working, off, and then off at the wall as well. If you have had to push the button while you're working, wait for everything to stop. Okay, fix that. It will not turn on until you've twisted and pulled, just like every other safety switch.